What's up, everyone? Andy with the Heartland Institute, bringing you more from climaterealism.com. So today, we're talking about the American Geophysical Union, and they are trying to draw a connection between climate change and mental health. That connection doesn't exist. Climate change is not harming mental health, but that's what their newest article claims. So let's get into it. So the American Geophysical Union published an article in its journal EOS titled Long-Term Drought Harms Mental Health in Rural Communities. I agree with that. I think that if you're in a rural community, if there's long-term drought, it probably does harm your mental health. In cities, you're not really introduced to it as much. In rural communities, you may be a farmer. You may just find that the environment doesn't look as good. It, yeah, that, that seems clear. Now, where they lost me is when they claimed that climate change is the reason this is happening and that humans are the reason for climate change. That's where they get it wrong. So here's what the EOS article says. It asserts, Climate change is worsening drought conditions around the world and shifting natural drought cycles out of sync with agricultural growing periods. Now, this statement is false. So before I get into why it's false, let's just again briefly go over their argument. Drought is causing people in rural communities' mental health to suffer. I agree with that. Drought is being caused by climate change. I disagree with that. Human activity is the reason for climate change. I heavily disagree with that. But okay, now let's let's go into why their statement was wrong. So first, let's just look at what the IPCC says. Now, the IPCC is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The key word there is intergovernmental. It is a government-funded organization, and because of that, it will go the direction that government wants it to go. Now, climate change is a tool that the government uses generally to take more power. It's no surprise to people that governments want to take more power. That's literally just look at all of human history. As, as time goes on, governments get more and more powerful and they take more power. So when the IPCC says something isn't due to humans, it's generally pretty important because they have this predisposed bias. So here's what the IPCC had to say. There is low confidence in a global scale observed trend in drought. There is low confidence in attributing changes in drought over global land area since the mid 20th century to human influence. So we got a little more. The IPCC has high confidence precipitation has increased over mid-latitude land areas of the northern hemisphere during the past 70 years and low confidence about any negative trends globally. Okay, so to briefly recap here, this EOS article from the American Geophysical Union is putting a link between mental health, drought, climate change. Now, they're generally looking at Australia for this article. Now, what they generally talk about is the millennium drought, a period of time that Australians lived through from 1997 to 2010, where there were drought conditions. Now, what's interesting is that this is what they reference, and they don't talk about the time after. The reason being, from 2010 on, for the next decade, there was actually above average rainfall in Australia. So they interestingly ignore that. More, the IPCC actually reports that there has been decreased drought across Australia since 1950. So let's finally talk about the last claim from the American Geophysical Union. They said that climate change is shifting natural drought cycles out of whack with agricultural periods. So essentially, they're mixing drought and agriculture and we can't grow things. Now, I've talked about this a million times in the past, but I'm going to quickly recap. All objective crop data from the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization shows that across the board, in rich and poor nations alike, crop yields are consistently setting records year after year. This is objective fact. The American Geophysical Union cannot refute it because they will not refute it, which is why in this article they make the claim, but they don't show any of the data because the data disagrees with them. Okay, so the argument the American Geophysical Union made is that Drought causes mental health issues in rural areas, which I agree with. Where I disagree, again, is that this drought is being caused by climate change, which is being caused by humans. That's just not true. We've gone over it. It's clear it's not true. So if the American Geophysical Union actually wanted to talk about science over political propaganda, they would probably report the drought is not worsening globally. But they don't. They talk about a period from 1997 to 2010 in Australia that was followed by a period of increased rainfall. So again, this is just more alarmist news, not news, propaganda. I hope you enjoyed actually this breakdown of it and, and hearing what's really going on. It's Andy with the Heartland Institute. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.